Do you know that Australia's immigration minister speaks out in the wake of the India flight ban as COVID-19 cases arise? Immigration Minister Alex Hawke discusses the plight of Australians and temporary visa holders, including foreign students, who are stuck in a difficult, risky, and disturbing situation in COVID-ravaged India in an interview with SBS Punjabi. So watch till the end to see what this news is all about. Warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our immigration information and news channel A2Z Immigration Updates. Here are some of the news highlights. Australia's decision to ban flights from India was a difficult one, according to the Immigration Minister. Protection of Australians in Australia and those stuck overseas is the government's top priority, Hawk Alex. International students and temporary visa holders will have to wait much longer to return. Immigration Minister Alex Hawke said Canberra is devastated to have to decide to absolutely ban all flights from a close ally like India for the time being. Immigration Minister Alex Hawke said Canberra is devastated to have to decide to absolutely ban all flights from a close ally like India for the time being. The Australian government has imposed a temporary ban on flights from India until May 15 to contain the spread of the coronavirus through returning visitors from the South Asian region, which has seen a record number of COVID-19 cases in recent days. The world's second most populous country saw a marginal drop in COVID-19 cases on April 27 for the first time in six days but still saw over 323,000 new cases and close to 3,000 deaths. In an interview with SBS Punjabi, Minister Hawk said, Our thoughts are direct with India today. And there are so many people suffering in India right now, and we are very aware of that. Priority of Australia Addressing the concerns of stranded Australians, Minister Hawke says the government's topmost priority is to protect Australia. Our first priority has to be to protect Australia and our second priority is, obviously, to help countries like India and help people who are dying and that is our second priority. Beyond that, then, we are trying to help people who are stranded and then people in our regions, he elaborated. As a result of the decision, nearly 9,000 Australians who are currently stranded in India, 650 of whom are deemed vulnerable, will be unable to return home until further flight announcements are made. Apart from government-organized repatriation and other commercial flights, the ban also extends to indirect flights from stopover cities such as Doha, Singapore, and Kuala Lumpur. We are very sad to see that a great country like India, which performed so well in the first wave, is now suffering so greatly in the second wave, which is why we have declared that we will be providing masks, ventilators, gowns, goggles, gloves, and face shields, the minister added. Impact on temporary visa holders and international students. Thousands of temporary visa holders, in addition to Australian citizens and permanent residents, have been shut out of the country with many saying the Australian government has abandoned them in a time of crisis. Minister Hawke acknowledges their plight, saying that India's difficult, risky, and disturbing situation has made it impossible for the country to consider visa holders' concerns. He said that something we'd like to see happen is to get people back to Australia, and we need our temporary visa holders to return. But it's not necessary because we're dealing with a serious epidemic, as we are with this wave in India. When asked if an exception could be made for Indian international students, Minister Hawke said that Australia wants to help them return but that it won't be able to do so until India's situation improves. Impact on visa processing Minister Hawke says visa processing has been impacted by the pandemic in many ways, but he does not see this decision having an effect on processing times for applicants from India. For practical purposes, the pandemic has already affected production times in many categories in a variety of ways. But, in general, I believe we will continue to operate normally in terms of visa processing. Is India being singled out? The Indian Australian group has expressed concern about the travel ban. Many residents fear that the restrictions would subject them to racial attacks and social stigma. Minister Hawke reaffirmed that the decision to enforce a travel ban was made to protect Australians saying it was Australia's way of helping India in a time of crisis. All I have to say is that Australia and India have always had a great friendship, and we are very close. It is the nation from which we receive the most migrants. We've now completed a very good migration.
As Minister for Immigration and Multicultural Affairs concluded that he is very close to many members of the Indian-Australian community in my Western Sydney electorate, and he is on their side and proves they are on their side to ensure we get through this together. Mr. Hawke says that Australia has not yet, formally, identified any other high-risk countries besides India. We hope that you will like our efforts to provide accurate information to you and you will definitely like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And of course, don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.